Hi everybody, this is Shane Mata with a quick uh, little tutorial on how to keep up with information on on the web, how to keep up with your favorite blogs, and also how to share uh, links on your Twitter account. It's a kind of a twofer. What I use to keep up with news is a service by Google called Google Reader. So you can go to reader.google.com and when you enter that, it'll bring you to this uh, service here. Let me just go to my home page. It'll look like this, more or less. Except that, of course, you won't have any uh, blogs that you follow. So what you would do in that case is pick your favorite blog, for example. Let's say TechCrunch. Uh, it could be a blog or website. And you look for this symbol here, a subscribe button that has RSS. It'll be either RSS or Atom one of those two. Either one will work. So when you click on it, it'll take you to a page like this and then you can add it to your Google account. So you can either copy it and paste it. Here, let me just do the copy and paste option. I'm trying to battling this thing here. Add subscription. <laughs> I got lost there. Like that. Then you click on add or a lot of times they'll have something like this, a button that you can click on with Google and then it asks you if you want to just add it to your home page which is your iGoogle account or page or add it to the Google Reader. So you can add it to Google Reader like that. And there you go. It, be, it becomes part of your, your uh, news feeds. So that's a, the easy, simple way of, of adding uh, a blog to your feeds, and that way you're able to keep up with information in that way. Uh, and then of course, like here, I have 183 items waiting for, to, for me to look through and, and you know share with other people. So you click on blog posts. So you can click the letter J to go to the next one. Uh, you can click the letter K to go back. So we, I usually just go with J, J, J all the way. So let's say that I like this one a lot, and I think this is a really cool page to share. Then uh, what you have to do is set this up over in settings. Uh, let me, hold on, let me just share it real quick, and we'll come back to that in a little bit. So let me just share it, and now click on settings over here. I want to show you that you can choose where this uh, these things go, uh, what services you know, you share that your uh, finds too. So let's go preferences, uh, subscriptions. Here is a list of all the different blogs that I'm subscribing to. Folders and tags. You can use that. I mean, that that's. Uh, I mean, it's useful. It not necessarily has to. You know, be something that you have to that you have must simply must have. But you definitely want to use these uh, to share your information. So uh, whenever you share, it actually shows up on your. Um, Oops, wrong one. Let's go back here. It goes into your um, Twitter. So I just shared it a while ago, so we'll go over to my Twitter, and you'll see right here it's already been shared, right? So uh, that's how I'm able to go through a lot of websites all at once, you know, in one sitting without having to click from web page to web page. Because one thing that happens is, let's say you visit a, a blog and you read an article and then you see something interesting then you click over to the next one and before you know it you've been through so many different changes of direction that uh, you're not actually focusing on what you were going to do in the first place so this is not only a great way of batching all your reading but it, it also keeps you from getting distracted and visiting websites that you w otherwise would not have visited so uh, anyways those are a couple of tools that I use to keep up with information and to share some of the, the great uh, items that I find in uh, in my searches. So this is Shane Mata. Thanks for watching. We'll bring you another uh, video soon with more tools and tips on how to make the best of your online experience.